Yo, what's going on YouTube? This is uh, Stars, aka RTK. And I hope y'all are having a beautiful day. This is gonna be an IRL video. Uh, just a little update to let you guys know where I've been and what's been going on. So, uh, music, new music. I'm gonna have some sneak peeks up here soon. I'm just trying to figure out the best way to go about it. Um, man, it feels so weird talking to the fucking camera and there's no one here. So basically, I deal with depression just about every month, every year. Um, usually it's not too bad, I already know I'll come out on top. I know that this is the life that I chose and I did this to myself, nobody else. But I guess the problem is, is as the years go by and the more sober I get, the more I realize that I have problems. And Manic depression is one of them, or it might go away, who knows, but this past two months was worse than anything I've ever experienced. Um, let me make a turn here. I don't even know how the fuck I'm gonna post this, it's like a minute long. Uh, basically, this was the worst depression I've ever dealt with, and for someone as confident and, you know, humble and smart and just fucking resourceful as I am to like second guess myself and doubt all the time like I literally made people think that I'm something that I'm not and it kind of fucked me up a little bit you know all these people thinking this and thinking that but at the end of the day I do what I need to do for me and my family I love my brothers um you know I I it doesn't even matter. It really literally does not matter what happens between me and them. I will always have their back until the day I go. And it sucked because I pushed them away, but in all reality, I was in a dark place. And sometimes when you're in these kind of positions, you don't want to be around other people. So totally understandable, you know. Um, fucking riding around the parking lot. Uh, a couple fans reached out to me and it was during my brother's wedding. Wedding was beautiful by the way. Everything was amazing. <clears throat> uh, a couple fans reached out and they basically, you know, said, yo man, like, you know, put your face on the videos more. Like, show us your personality. Like, we're not just here because your gameplay is nice or your skate skating's nice or you can longboard or you know, this or that, or rap, like, we want to know you, see you, but <clears throat> I definitely feel that, and I'm definitely going to start posting videos like that, but I guess the premise is, is that my life is not that exciting. Sometimes I just sit inside and, you know, I keep working on the game. I was in it for the money, which was the wrong reason, and now I've been doing it for fun, so it's kind of like paying me back and repaying me a little bit, <clears throat> but... Uh, I don't know man like it's just it's just funny how shit works out you know like all the people who have my back the most are the ones who turn their backs on me and just assume something instead of finding out what was wrong and uh, in their defense I'm sure it gets old like dealing with somebody every month like something different is happening but you know I got a lot of shit that catches up with me from all the shit that I've done in my life and I'm not that bad of a person you know, we've been in a few fights, gotten into a few scuffles, you know, whatever. I won't go too much into it, but I basically want to say that I appreciate so many of you that stuck around with me and kept, you know, riding for me. Uh, you know, it started with the music four years ago. People said that I couldn't do it. They said that I couldn't get a flow, that, you know, OC wouldn't be shit, and now look at it, like... You know, people work their asses off and busted their asses, you know, whether it was from home studios to broken computers, you know, we just kept fighting and kept fucking proving everybody wrong. Um, I haven't been doing as much work as everyone else if we're going to go by standards, but I was working about 60 hours a week and, you know, when I come to work and... I have to fucking hate everything about it, and as soon as I leave there, it's like a weight off my back. That's how I knew that something was wrong. Um, it's kind of like a cycle. 
Like, I love cooking and I'm passionate about it, but I do not need to take orders from people. Um, that's not me. I'm not a fucking underling. I'm a boss. And it's how I was raised. It's how I was taught. And I don't want to keep just going through life getting by. Like, I need to make sure my mom's good. Like, I'm tired of, <clears throat> you know, just barely getting by. I'm tired of wearing the same clothes every week. Like, people can call it money management, what you will. Yeah, I could work on that, but... I mean, when you don't make more than enough money to survive, then how are you supposed to save it? Um, but with that being said, I appreciate y'all. I'm going to post this and edit it, figure it all out. Um, should be having a skate session here soon. Appreciate every one of y'all, everybody in the online community and our gaming community. We're currently working on a new team. And I just appreciate you guys so much, man. Like... I wouldn't be here without y'all, and I wouldn't be shit without y'all, so... <clears throat> At the end of the day, whoever's around is around, and whoever's not, fuck them. You know, I don't give a fuck. If you're afraid of me, or you judge me, or, you know, this and that, you take other people's words for it, like... Find out who I am. <laughs>